New tonight at 6 during National Adoption Awareness Month, there is an urgent call for adoptive and foster families to help children in foster care. And tonight, Channel 2's Claudine Ewing introduces us to a man who has gone over and beyond the call of duty to make life better for several children here in Buffalo. Lamont Thomas is just a laid back man with a big heart. He adopted five children in October. That's right, five. One year old Michaela, two year old Major, three year old Nakia, four year old Jamel, and five year old Zendaya. And is hereby ordered that the adoption be granted. Kids, your adoption is now approved and you are hereby adopted. Yay! Showered with the gifts. Happy family! Everybody. Let's hit pause and take you back to how this all started. The biological father, um, he was in foster care with me some years ago. Uh, he aged out. Um, and these are his kids. In the beginning, these kids was in all different homes. Um, I came in at the end of the, the end of the rope where they were about to be adopted out, you know, and I told them that I wanted to reunite these kids together. These are siblings. They should be raised together. And I fought for close to two and a half years to be able to get them together, and we won. We got it. One, two, three. Yay! Thomas says he wanted to make a difference by being a difference for these children. We spend time with him at home with the family. How and why are you doing this? Hmm. How? It's nothing but the grace of God. But um, and why? You know, it's just these kids. Is you know they, you know they were just uh, spread it out for so long, and I, you know, I just was hoping that um, you know, to reunite the kids. The kids were on Grand Island, in West Seneca, Cheektowaga, and in Buffalo. The kids basically didn't even know each other, you know, at first. In 2000, he started fostering children. He has two biological children and grandchildren. I probably fostered at least 30, 30 some kids. And then um, my first set of adoptions, it was um, five. I adopted five. Here they are, all five of his first adoptees years ago. Lamont has advice for anyone looking to adopt. You know, there is a need. It's hard for two, let alone a single person with multiple kids. I consider these kids my grandkids. You know, um, I had their father in care. Lamont Thomas is a 48-year-old dad with an excellent support system. He has adopted 10 children in his lifetime. He's fostered 30. What does this do for you? Um, it gives me a, it gives me new energy. You know, I love these kids. You know, and. Uh, you know, I just wanted to see them thrive and do well. There were people who reached out to me after seeing our initial story. They wanted to make monetary donations but remain anonymous. But they told me they are doing this because there need to be more people in the world like Lamont Thomas. A woman in Illinois reached out and told me, I just want to make a donation, even if it's to buy shoes for each of the kids. A man in Ohio emailed me, I want to donate Christmas present money to Lamont because of what he has done for so many children without a good home. Beautiful. I really appreciate it all. You know, it's a, it's a truly a big help. What's your biggest Thank challenge? Thank you for Papa. Pa Thank you for Papa? Mm -hmm. You love Papa? Mm -hmm. Why do you love Papa? Because he's amazing. He's amazing. Challenges will come and Papa is ready. Having downtime for myself, you know, that's a challenge. But, um, you know, I don't know, it's something that I, you know, I sacrificed that for them. A sacrifice of love. And as we mentioned in the beginning, this is National Adoption Awareness Month. There are many agencies looking for people like Lamont Thomas to provide a forever home to children. We will have this information about Lamont and how you can foster or adopt on WGRZ.com. The little boy said it all. He said he was amazing. Amazing, yeah, and absolutely. It is amazing that a single man takes on five young children, ages one, two, three, four, and five. You can see his spirit, though. You can inside. definitely he see his spirit. He has a spirit inside him. Definitely see it. He's amazing. And it's just, this is such a great time of year also to tell a story like this. Yeah. But the need is all year round, too, for exactly, kids like that. Exactly.
Yeah, well, it just takes, I think, sometimes seeing a story like this to inspire many others to step up because there are a lot of kids in the foster care system and mm -hmm. how great that he has yeah. that calling. And to try and keep them together. That's, that's the so important. If people wanted to donate to him, though, it'll be on the story. Yes, we will story. make sure that we get that information and we'll put that up a little bit later this evening. Right, Claudine, thank Perfect. you. What a great story.